This Elden Ring farm is crazy good, it gives 41k souls per run, which takes between 1-2 to two minutes or even quicker than that depending on how fast you can beat the enemies here. It's by far the fastest one we've found, I'm going to share with you guys exactly how you can get here and farm this for yourself. First up, really quickly, the Golden Scarab is a talisman that you can get that gives you around 20% extra souls, so it's great for any kind of farm like this. You can find it here on the map by jumping down this cliff into the cave, running all the way through the cave to the boss room and beating them will give you this talisman. It's a little bit tricky and isn't the easiest thing to do, but if you do plan to farm efficiently, you will want to get this. So to start this whole process off, you need to talk to the guy at the very start of the game near the point of grace where you first come out of the cave, or you can come back here and inspect the message on the floor after beating Godric. To do this farm, you will have to have beaten Godric. This is an important part, as you cannot proceed into this questline without beating him. So once you finish talking to him, you will then need to go to the Rose Church, which is in Lyona, and meet the NPC there again. He'll give you a dialogue option, and you need to say that the two fingers seemed off in the option. And by doing this, he will then give you five festering bloody fingers, which is an item that you can use in your inventory to invade other players. This is where it gets slightly interesting or bad, depending on if you like PvP, because you will have to use this three times in order to continue this quest in order to get to the farm area. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, but from my experience it was mostly one versus two or three, so just have fun with it. The odds are you're probably going to lose if you're going against three people. After this, talk to the NPC once again, and this time he will give you the Lord of Blood's Favor, which is an item, a piece of cloth, that you must dip in the blood of a maiden in order to do this next phase. But don't worry, we've already found the Maiden, so all you need to do is go to the Church of Inhibition. But do be wary in this area, as you will build up madness as you're running through to try and get here. And just before you get into this actual church, you will be invaded by an NPC that you then need to kill. So be prepared when you get there. But once you get inside, there will be a sacred tier for you to upgrade your flask. But also you can get the Finger Maiden armor set, as well as here is where you use the quest item in order to douse it in blood to take back to the NPC one. Once again. So head back to the Rose Church, give him the quest item, and then offer him your finger. By doing this you will get the Bloody Finger, but you will also get the Pure Knight's Medal when you talk to him again after that. This is where it gets fun because this item will now teleport you to Mo Gwen's Palace, which is where this farm will take place. But before you can farm, you will need to get to the grace point so you can respawn here and be very close to it. Basically, run where I go and be wary. There's a lot of enemies, so run fast and don't get stuck on anything, but follow the route I go to until you get to the point of grace. Once you're at the point of grace, this is now your respawn point, because all you need to do is kill the big cluster of enemies that are right near it, and each one will offer you 2,000 souls, or 2,400 souls if you have the gold scarab. This is absolutely fantastic, you can repeat it over and over, and it gets faster each time you level up because you'll be stronger and killing them quicker. AoE things are very useful here, but use what works for you and just kill them as quickly as you can, rinse and repeat. I went up so many levels here in literally only a couple of runs, this is such a fantastic farming spot. If you do use this farming spot, make sure to drop a like and subscribe down below and let us know in the comments if you found this helpful. We have other guides, farms, locations on the screen right now for you to click on if you want to learn more about Elden Ring and improve your playthrough.